It's a big day for trade, big day for our country. A lot of people thought we'd never get here because we all negotiate tough. We do, so does Mexico. And uh, this is a tremendous thing. This has to do, they used to call it NAFTA. We're going to call it the United States-Mexico Trade Agreement. Uh, we'll get rid of the name NAFTA. It has a bad connotation because the United States was hurt very badly by NAFTA for many years. And now it's a uh, really good deal for both countries. Uh, and we look very much forward to it. And I believe uh, the President is on the phone. Enrique? You know, you can hook him up. You tell me when. How are you? It's a big thing. A lot of people waiting. Hello? Uh, you want to uh, put that on this phone, please? Hello? Be helpful. President Trump. Thank you. President Trump, how are you? Good morning. Thank you, Enrique, and congratulations. That's really a fantastic thing. We've all worked very hard. Well, you are brilliant. Representatives are sitting right in front of me, and uh, I thought we would congratulate each other before it got out. Uh, and uh, I know we'll have a formal news conference in the not-too-distant future. And the first reason uh, for this call, Mr. President, is first of all to celebrate the understanding we have had between both negotiating teams. Sobre el acuerdo de NAFTA. On NAFTA. En este eh, interés que ha habido desde hace ya varios meses. De, In that interest we have had for quite a few months now. De renovarlo, de modernizarlo, de actualizarlo. To renew it, to modernize it, to update it. Y generar un marco que eh, potencie la competitividad de Norteamérica. And to generate a framework that will boost and potentiate uh, uh, productivity in North America. Es, es eh, nuestro deseo, presidente, que, eh, que ahora eh, Canadá también pueda eh, incorporarse a este. It is our wish, Mr. President, that now Canada will also be able to be incorporated in all this. Asumo que ellos estarán eh, haciendo eh, negociación de los temas de la relación o de los temas sensibles en la relación Estados Unidos-Canadá. And I assume that they are going to carry out negotiations on the sensitive bilateral issues between Mexico, uh, be, rather, uh, between Canada and the United States. Pero yo, yo estoy muy agradecido, Presidente. Quiero que sepa que tengo un enorme reconocimiento a su gobierno, a su voluntad política, personal. And I am really uh, grateful, Mr. President. I want to, to tell you that you, I greatly recognize and acknowledge your political will and your uh, participation in this. Y en, este, y en esta ruta, eh, de testimoniarles, Presidente, eh, un reconocimiento al equipo negociador. And on this same path, I want to bear my testimony, Mr. President, and my acknowledgement to both negotiating teams. Especialmente uh, al encabezado por uh, Robert Lighthizer. Especially the team that is headed and led by Mr. Robert Lighthizer. Y el acompañamiento también eh, desde la Casa Blanca que ha habido de parte de Jared Kushner. And also the accompaniment and the support we have had from the White House through Jared Kushner. Eh, reconocimiento que tengo también para el equipo de México. And I also extend this recognition 
to the Mexican team. Eh, están ahí eh, escuchándole y están junto a usted, tanto el caso. Eh, yes, eh, Videgaray e Ildefonso Guajardo, secretario de Economía. En una en una negociación de meses difícil, compleja, ardua y no exenta de, de, de de momentos difíciles, pero muy reconocido, eh, presidente, de que hoy podemos llegar a este punto de, de hacer público el buen entendimiento, el entendimiento que hay ya sobre eh, el acuerdo que podremos celebrar de NAFTA, esperando ahora nada más que Canadá pues eh, eh, acuerde la parte que a ellos corresponde. Yes, and this has of course been a negotiation that has taken months. It's been difficult, complex, and a very hard negotiation altogether with difficult moments, of course. But uh, I truly acknowledge now the fact that we've been able to reach an agreement that we are about to make public, and this is the result of good understanding and good work. And I, of course, I am quite hopeful that now Canada will start discussing with the United States the sensitive bilateral issues. Felicidades, President Trump. Congratulations, President Trump. Y, y, y a sus comentarios. I'm very grateful and I am attentive to your comments. Well, Mr. President, thank you very much. It's an honor. You've been my friend. It's been a long time since I traveled to Mexico, where we got to know each other quite well. And we actually had a good meeting. Some people weren't sure if it was a good meeting, but I was. I have a lot of good meetings that a lot of people aren't sure if they were good or not. But uh, it's been a long time, and uh, this is something that's very special for our manufacturers and for our farmers from both countries, for all of the people that work for jobs. It's also great trade, and it, it makes it a much more fair bill. And uh, we are very, very excited about it. Uh, we have worked long and hard. Your representatives have been terrific. My representatives have been fantastic, too. Uh, they've, uh, they've gotten along very well, and they've worked late into the night for months. It's an extremely complex bill, and it's something that I think uh, will be talked about for many years to come. Uh, just good for both countries. As far as Canada is concerned, we haven't started with Canada yet. We wanted to do Mexico and uh, see if that was uh, possible to do. And it wasn't, I think, it, it wasn't from uh, any standpoint something that most people thought was even doable when we started. If you look at it, you remember at the beginning, many people thought that uh, this was something that just couldn't happen because of all of the different factions, all of the different sides, and the complexity. And we made it uh, much simpler, much better, much better for both countries. Uh, Canada will start negotiations uh, shortly. I'll be uh, calling the Prime Minister very soon, and we'll start negotiation. And if they'd like to negotiate fairly, we'll, uh, we'll do that. You know, they have uh, tariffs of almost 300 percent on some of our dairy products, so we can't have that. We're not going to stand for that. Uh, I think with Canada, frankly, the easiest thing we can do is to tariff their cars coming in. It's a tremendous amount of money, and it's a very simple negotiation. It could end in one day, and uh, we take in a lot of money the following day. But I think we'll give them a chance to uh, probably have a separate deal. We could have a separate deal, or we could put it into this deal. I like to call this deal the United States-Mexico Trade Agreement. I think it's an elegant name. I think NAFTA has a lot of bad connotations for the United States because it was a ripoff. It was a deal that was a horrible deal for our country. And uh, I think it's got a lot of bad connotations to a lot of people. And so we will uh, probably uh, — you and I will agree to uh, the name. Uh, we will see whether or not uh, we decide to put up a candidate or just do a separate deal with Canada if they want to make the deal. The simplest deal is more or less already made. It'd be very easy to do and execute. But I will uh, — I will tell you that working with you has been a pleasure. Uh, speaking with and working with President-elect Lopez Obrador has been absolutely a, a very, very special time. Uh, you both came together for your country. You worked together. I think that's important for the media to know. We have a little — a small amount of media in our presence, like everybody. And uh, the media 
should know that uh, the President and the President-elect worked very closely together because the President uh, felt it was important that the President-elect liked what he was saying. And uh, our teams worked together. Our teams were uh, really well unified. And your team was very well unified. I was very impressed with the fact that uh, the two Presidents came together and worked out something mutually agreeable. So, it's an incredible deal. It's an incredible deal for both parties. Most importantly, it's an incredible deal for the workers and for the citizens of both countries. Uh, our farmers are going to be so happy. You know, my farmers, the farmers have stuck with me. I said we were going to do this. And Mexico's promised to immediately start purchasing as much farm product as they can. They're going to work on that very hard. And uh, as you know, we're we're working unrelated to this. We're working uh, very much with other countries. Uh, China is uh, one. They want to talk. And it's just not right time to talk right now, to be honest with China. It's been uh, it's too one-sided for too many years, for too many decades. And so it's not the right time to talk. But eventually, I'm sure that we'll be able to work out a deal with China. In the meantime, we're doing very well with China. Our economy is up. It's never been this good before. And uh, I think it's only going to get better. But, Mr. President, you've been my friend, and you have been somebody that's been very special in a lot of ways. We talk a lot. We talked a lot about this deal. And I'd like to congratulate you and the Mexican people. I recognize this, especially because of the point of understanding we are now reaching on this deal. Y espero y deseo que realmente la parte con Canadá se pueda, ojalá y deseo que se pueda concretar. And I really hope and I desire, I wish that the part with Canada will be materializing and uh, in a very concrete fashion. Perfecto de lograr realmente un acuerdo como lo planteamos desde su inicio. That we can have an agreement the way we proposed it from the initiation of this renegotiating process, a tripartite. Pero hoy hoy celebro que la parte entre eh, Estados Unidos y México. Today I celebrate the United States and Mexico. Al punto final de, de entendimiento. Because we're reaching a final point of understanding. Y que espero en próximos días podamos ya materializarlo en lo que será pues eh, la, la firma y el acuerdo, eh, la formalización del acuerdo. And I hope that in the following days we can materialize the finding and the formalization of the agreement. Y un punto adicional, presidente. De, Something additional, uh, Mr. President. Usted ya lo, ya, ya lo refirió. Eh, eh, tiene que ver con la participación involucrada y comprometida que hay del gobierno electo de México. And uh, you have already mentioned it. It has to do with the involved and committed participation of the administration and the president-elect of Mexico. Como sabe, usted está haciendo un proceso o en un periodo de transición. As you know, we are now going through a period of transition. Y ha sido posible hacer un frente muy unificado. Y it has been possible to create a highly unified front entre el equipo negociador del actual gobierno the team of this y las personas designadas por el presidente electo de México, the by the -elect of México. para eh, sumarse como observadores y participar en, 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 en este acuerdo, en este entendimiento al punto que hoy estamos llegando to reach the point we are now reaching. y eh, el presidente electo ha estado enterado y he tenido la oportunidad también de hablar con él eh, personalmente sobre los avances que ha habido sobre ese tema creo que el presidente electo ha estado consciente de todo lo que ha sucedido y también he tenido la oportunidad de hablar con él directamente y personalmente sobre el progreso que se ha hecho 
Y usted ha tenido conversaciones directas ya con él también. You have also had direct conversations with President elect. Lo siguiente, presidente, que nos faltará y espero tengamos el espacio para hacerlo, firmar. Hacer un buen brindis con tequila. To toast a good toast with tequila, of course. Para celebrar este entendimiento. To celebrate this understanding. Enrique, I think that's exactly right, and you know the. Uh, good relationship that I've already established with the President-elect. Uh, I was very impressed with him, I must tell you. He was uh, terrific in every way, and he wants — you know, he loves your country like you love your country. You want to do the right thing. And uh, we're really doing the right thing for all of us. So I really enjoyed that. Please uh, send him my regards, and I will speak to him very shortly. But this was great that you were able to do it together. I think doing it mutually as opposed to just you doing it, or even just him doing it. I think a mutual agreement between uh, your two administrations was a fantastic thing. I suggested that early on, and I think it was immediately embraced. And I think it was a, a really fantastic thing that you were able to do it. And with great spirit. I mean, it was great coordination and spirit. So I, I think that is really just great. And, you know, one of the things that uh, I'm excited about is you're going to be helping us at the border. You're going to be working together with us on agriculture. You're going to be working in many different ways. And we're going to be working with you in many different ways. It's a very comprehensive agreement. So, uh, Enrique, I will see you soon. I think we're going to have a very formal ceremony. This is one of the largest trade deals ever made, maybe the largest trade deal ever made. And uh, it's really something very special that two countries were able to come together and get it done. And I just want to thank uh, all of my people, Bob and Jared. And gentlemen, you have been really great, the way you've worked so long. And I know you've been going up till 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, and then getting in at 8. So uh, I just want to, on behalf of the United States, I want to thank you very much. And I can say that Mexico is very proud of you. They're very proud of you. Thank you all very much. And, Reiki, I'll see you soon. I'll talk to you soon. And congratulations, and uh, job well done. Thank you, President. Thank you, President. Congratulations as well to you. Negotiating. And to the negotiating. Because I am certain that this is for the well-being of both countries. Y a la espera de que Canadá también se integre. Le mando, le mando un abrazo muy afectuoso y con afecto. A hug from you would be very nice. Thank you. So long. Thanks. Goodbye, Enrique. Okay, so we've uh, made the deal with Canada. Uh, it's a very uh, uh, they, they, they're starting. We made the deal with Mexico. And I think it's a uh, very deal. We're starting negotiations with Canada pretty much uh, immediately. I can't tell you where those negotiations are gone. It's going to be uh, — it's a smaller segment, as you know. Mexico is a very large trading partner. But we, uh, we've now concluded our deal, and it's being finalized. And, Bob, when would you say it will be signed, actually formally signed? Well, it, it will likely be signed at the end of November because there's a 90-day layover period because of our statute. But, but we, we expect to submit our letter to Congress getting that process on Friday. Okay, so that starts the process. And that's right. 90 days later, it will, it will be signed. And we have an agreement where, uh, both with Canada and with Mexico, uh, I, ha I will terminate the existing deal. When that happens, uh, I can't quite tell you. It depends on what the timetable is with Congress. But I'll be terminating uh, the existing deal and going into this deal. Uh, we'll start negotiating with Canada relatively soon. They want to start — they want to negotiate very badly. Uh, but one way or the other, we have a deal with Canada. It'll either be a tariff on cars or it'll be a negotiated deal. And, frankly, a tariff on cars is a much easier way to go. But uh, perhaps the other would be much better for Canada. And we're looking to help — you know, we're looking to help our neighbors, too. If we can help our neighbors, that's a good thing, not a bad thing. So uh, we're going to start that negotiation uh, imminently. I'll be speaking with uh, Prime Minister Trudeau in a little while. So I want to thank everybody. I want to thank you. What a great job you've all done. And uh, it's been 
been a long one, but uh, a lot of people thought this was not a doable transaction. Uh, it's going to be great for our people. And again, I want to thank you, folks. And we'll see you at the signing, and we'll see you many times before that, I'm sure. So congratulations to the people of Mexico. Great job. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.